What is up guys? Uh, we are street skateboarding today and then I have some family stuff to do and I'm, I'm gonna fill snippets, clips, you're gonna kinda go along the day with me. You won't see everything we do because we're filming for Take Over the World, revived second full length video and we're going to a stair spot right now so this dude can get a drink. It should be fun though, so hang out. And also, uh, Braille sent me a package so I'm gonna unbox that with Ryden later in the video. So, uh, tune, 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 tune. Tune in. I guess they're already tuning in. That's kind of a dumb thing to say, right? Like, tune in. Like, I'm tuned in, Andy. You're an idiot. She dumped me because I used a fork. Like, what? We are at Norwood, Thomas. And the lighting does not let me see your face right now. But here's a face you can see. Kind of. Yeah, don't use that comb. That'd be super gross. One time I asked a girl in LA traffic if I could have her chapstick and she threw it as we were driving. And I, I used it too, I wasn't worried about it. I mean, she looked, she looked fine, you know? She looked like a believable person. Chapstick is one of those things that you just lose all the time, no matter how many you Yeah, because guys in traffic randomly ask you for it. <laughs> but it's funny because a lot of people are like, that is disgusting. I think it is. You know, but, but at the same time, if I told you, if I was single, if I told you I met up with a random girl and made out with her, you wouldn't think anything of it. Like, cool, good job. But if I use her chapstick, that's gross. It's gross. You know, like, you can put your tongue in her mouth, but don't use her chapstick. It's true. So here it is. This is the Norwood 8, which it's it's kind of annoying because they black topped it. So, like, the 8 stair is technically flush to the, crack, yeah, the it's, ground. It's 7. Yeah, but you have to clear the 8 stair. Like, if you hit there, that wouldn't count. So, I, it's an 8. It's also, it's also called the Norwood 8. I wouldn't call it anything else. But this is like the best set of stairs ever. I love it. And I don't want to jump down. I'm filming Thomas today. I actually have been jumping down stuff way too much lately. And I have a heel bruise and a hip bruise and I'm pretty beat up. So Ryan Bracken is trying to throw his bottle from the top of the stairs to his board. Which, spoiler alert, is not going to happen. But he gets lunch from Casey if he does. There it is. Watch. First try. Nope. So I'm done goofing around. It's time for Thomas. It's show showdown time. You should you, you, you this should do this set. This is in the sun. The lighting looks awful, dude. I mean, I guess it's the same thing. Yeah, it's the same exact thing. Thomas got the drink. It didn't take me that long. Thomas, good job. We're going to get some refreshments. I think these dudes are eating Jimmy John's, so we're going to meet them up there. But then we're going to go to the world's smallest handrail, and uh, I'm going to wreck myself. <laughs> I don't think you can. It's so <laughs> tiny. It's fun though. <laughs> we're out of building with some words on it. I'll try to get a Dasani with a hint of, of lime. I don't want to hit you. I don't think I will. Sorry, dude. Um, and I got a freaking Dasani sparkling. This is something that Brian Ames would drink, and it tastes horrible. So, I'm really thirsty. Yeah. Good thing is that I got a Dasani and normal water for the next spot, so that's what I'm doing. Where's Jimmy John's? Oh, there's Chipotle. We should have gone to Chipotle. I would have eaten that. Found you, Jimmy John's. So, you guys are eating sandwiches, which a normal person would eat at Jimmy John's, and I asked for a pickle. Which they gave me a pickle, they didn't mess up. Watching your video. And it's the biggest pickle in the whole world. Uh, probably like 10 minutes. Let's go. Let's be go. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel like popcorn shrimp is out of fashion. All right, so they're uh, redoing the lots where the rail is. So we're not skating that, unfortunately, but we're going to go into this old ditch that we used to skate in. Looks so overgrown, but hopefully something exciting happens. Are we skateboarding? It's funny because this is the spot that we're about to Hey, uh, Thomas, remember that one time you really were awesome at closing the door? Oh, uh, yeah. I've only been here twice. That's what skateboarding is all about. Adventuring. Who backside flipped this? Uh, Garrett backside flipped this. Oh, okay. Jeff Phillips frontside flipped it. Oh, man. Ooh, frontside flip? I may have ollied it. I don't even remember. Talk about Nedry? Ah, ah, ah. Didn't say that's <laughs> weird. Do if I didn't have my board with me. Ah. Over here trying to be like Jackie Chan. Good. Ugh. Did it. I did it with full gear on, dude. Okay, now I really feel like we're in Jurassic Park. And I'm not even in Hawaii. Okay. Okay, this is getting like crazy. We're like on a... If we hit a rock, we're dead. Dude, that's nuts. I'm so psyched to not be doing that anymore. All right, we came over here anyway. The people stopped working on a lot, so we're looking at it. It's the smallest rail ever. Oh yeah, their gear is right there. All right, let's just do a quick quick board slides and be done. All right. 
Rob sucks way more than I remember. <laughs> It's kind of nice though because it's just low. It's not like you actually slide it. You actually can feel a board slide. <laughs> Parking lot dudes came back and we didn't want to like cramp their space. They didn't even talk to us. They didn't ask us to leave, but we were like gonna be like, you know what? You're about to do work here, so we're gonna leave. And I gotta go anyway. So this uh, vlog episode, as far as skating goes, it was just like me doing flip tricks, all in an eight stair, and then skating a really tiny handrail. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm about to leave and go hang out with the family. And then I don't know if these dudes are gonna keep skating, but you guys aren't gonna see them. I got hit right in the head for take over the world. Casey tried the rail once, hit me in the head, and then he was done. <laughs> You'll see I that clip see in that. The, the full length. I missed. Goodbye, Casey. Bye. Goodbye, Bracken. I can actually high five you. High five Casey for me in the future. Goodbye, Thomas. Good job on your trick. Thank you. And thank you for hitting me in the head. I am home. It's super clean in here. My uh, wife and I rocked this uh, place this weekend, so it's like the nicest the house has probably ever been. Okay, so I'm gonna get cleaned up. We're going to a state park um, with like trails and stuff and a lake, so it'll be pretty cool. I'll film some stuff on my cell phone. I probably won't film like a whole thing of it because uh, I want to enjoy it and relax with my family. You'll definitely see some cute clips of Ryden having fun in the park, and we will cut to the park. We're here. We're at the park. We're grilling out, and we're gonna do a bunch of stuff, and then there's Ryden right there. Look at your face. Look at your face. So all you Andy Flop. What? You call me dad. Alright, what are you gonna do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Uh. I'm better than you. Alright, then if you're better than me, catch this. That's what I thought. Got it. Right, and who is eating a Funyun? What are we doing? Let me go first, okay? In case there's anything so dad can see it. Get in here, kid! Do you have a drink? Yep. Buddy, these, these woods aren't that good for exploring. They're, just, they're pretty thick. Alright, which way should we go? Um, this way. Okay, let's Wait. go this way. This is way better. This is a good way of doing it. Just don't fall off, okay? It's just thick. I, I, I swear there's a velociraptor about to pop out and say, hey, go, turn around. Velociraptors Yes, they are. <laughs> yes, they are. I don't know. There's, there's literally no way to go. This bush is in our way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's another one. Look. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Buddy, we got to go back. There's nothing to do. And you need to stop drinking that fruit fruit punch. Go that way. But there's, that's where the Velociraptor was. No, the other Velociraptor thing. Right in. You got some cauliflower there? No. That's cauliflower, isn't it? No. What is it? I can't smell it. It smells like cake? Yeah. It's an apple turnover with icing. And you're running away. Get your icing hands away from me. <laughs> no way. No! Gotcha. You got my... <sighs> you did get me. Right in. Oh my gosh, we gotta clean this place up. All right, so we cleaned up, it looks a little better. Good job. You did most of it, as you should, because it's your playroom. But so, we are doing the unboxing like I talked about at the beginning of this video. This is a package from Braille Skateboarding, uh, who are my dudes. Aaron's been a part of, even before Revive Revenge, he's been a part of what I do with the companies for so long. So, thank you, uh, Aaron, for everything that you do, but specifically for giving so much back to the skateboarding community. My gosh, uh, it's amazing how much Braille has blown up this last year. Well deserved, too. Uh, Ryden is destroying this box. And they also gave me this, so thank you for this. Uh, I haven't opened it up, but I imagine there are good things in this. I don't actually know what they sent me, but they did say they gave uh, Ryden a surprise. This has been a, kind of a weird vlog episode. It's been really random, uh, but I hope it's been entertaining for you. But this is the real reason why we're doing this, opening this box. I refused. Oh, there we go. I broke free. I don't think you can rip it, dude. This is... There we go. I'm gonna start pulling it out. Ooh, what's this? First, we got a note. We got a note. Aw, you know, do you know what that says? No. Ryden! It does say Ryden. It says Ryden rocks. Probably so. Yeah. Andy is the bomb. <laughs> should we put this in your playroom? Oh, yeah, yeah. We should put them up somewhere. We'll put them on the... Okay, so we will put those on the wall here in just a second. Oh my gosh, they're wrapped. There's like literally presents in here. Oh, is it with this present? Kinda. Is this for you? I don't know. 
This is from this is from Aaron Cairo. It's been a while since you've seen Aaron, hasn't it? Thanks, Aaron Cairo. Don't open it just yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna we're gonna open up what, what I get first. Dun 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 dun. Yes! I bug them all the time. And I'm like, you guys gotta make some red braille shirts for me. So heck yeah. There's the back of it. That's awesome. And I got two, which I will put to you so you guys will see me. Awesome sure. Yeah, same thing. Let's open these first, okay? I'll open this one. I wanna keep this. It's for you. Oh, you want to keep this? Yeah, we'll put that right there. What is that? Oh, you got your first skate tool riding. That's a Braille skate tool. See, it puts your skateboard together. So next time you put a board together, you can use that one, okay? Okay. It's awesome. You like it? Yeah. Oh. Wow, that's blue. <laughs> yeah, it is very blue. This one's next. This one is next. What? Stickers! Oh, it's Santa stickers, which Christmas uh, is in a few months. So now you got some stickers, right? And these are when you get gifts. You can put these stickers on the gifts to say to Aaron from Raiden. Heck yeah! <laughs> got some Braille stickers. Here's some. Yep. Boo! Um, I bet you I know what that is. Yeah. I, I the Skate Morning Made Simple DVD. Ha! And when you want to start learning new tricks, it has a list on how to do a lot of tricks right here. Last present and this the next one. Okay. Yeah. It's cute, I knew it. Oh. Red one. It's a riding size shirt. Here, hold it up. Oh, you got two? Heck yeah. So there you go. It's a little big, but that you'll just have to grow into it. But then we can wear the same shirt, can't we? And then this one is. And I'm sure it's the same size, or I don't know. Oh no, this is a little smaller. So you'll be able to fit into this one soon. Heck yeah, what do you say? Thank you, guys. To Aaron. Say, say thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Aaron. Yes, that was super nice. Thank you, Aaron Cairo, and then the whole Braille team, uh, all of them, uh, even the people you don't see in front of the camera, they're awesome, awesome people. So if you want to check out Braille, they do a lot of really fun YouTube videos where they skate the weirdest stuff in the whole world. So uh, there'll be a link right weird. down there. Hi, weird. Here's Nini. There's Nini. Oh. There's. There's Raiden. Like, you're probably already subscribed to them because they have blown up this last year. Uh, but if you're not, go check them right down the info and uh, like what you see. It, it's really good stuff. There we go, Raiden. There we go. You like it? Yeah. There you guys go. I hope you guys like this little vlog episode. I do videos every single day, so hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me. And then this guy's in a lot of them, aren't you, Raiden? Hey. Oh. The trap door. Whoa, jeez, you almost got hit in the face. It was a, it was a trap door. That you just fell in the imaginary trap door? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hope you guys have a great day. Go skateboard oh, if you skateboard. Good. If you don't, um, I would say bust out Super Mario World for the Hi, Super Nintendo. Super, super good, good game. Good or if it's nice outside, go outside and play Super Mario World outside. Goodbye? Good. No, not yet. Say goodbye. Bye. Right in it is officially the bonus clip. <laughs> and guess what we get to do? Guess what we get to do? What? Do you want to know? Yeah. We get to clean up this.